morning folks it's 8 23 a.m. Wednesday June 29th 2016 8 23 3 the people coming together meeting conversing Two, harmony, understanding. Uh, eight, information, data, material to be processed to become an understanding. A series of understandings, the more the merrier, becoming a collected group of understandings known as wisdom. How do you make the best decisions in, in your life, whether in or out of body? By the size of your wisdom, the collected understandings. And that comes from gathering data. That's one reason so many of you are all over the internet, which I say do it, but don't spend all day there because it's not crap there that you're really going to be able to use just a little bit. Um, You're going to start seeing more with your physical eyes, seeing more with your metaphysical eyes, okay? Through the crowns, through the scanner, through the pineal, feeling more with you, seeing more, and feeling more with your heart. Trusting more, understanding more, and seeing more with your gut, solar plexus. You're going to have spirit in your head free to talk to you the way they should have been all along. This is all, all the stuff I'm talking about is coming very soon, just a few months away, okay? Uh, maybe give it three months and a week or something, who knows? Um, your bodies are going to softly be changed. It's a DNA manipulation thing where it's easier for you to come alive. It's easier now than it's ever been. People, when you've been cranked up, your brain's evolving, you're feeling that head pressure, something that really helps, soda light. This is a whole lot of, well, bit, <laughs> of uh, small soda light chips that goes in the proper spheres. Y'all will be connected more with stone energy, stones with the energy that's from the planet like your body to help feed your body's energy what you need to improve your life, uh, everything about yourselves. The field is about to change. It's about to become incredibly strong. It'll be soft, it'll be comfortable, but you're going to feel a power level you've never felt before. That's because it's never, it'll, it's about to be stronger than it's ever been, period. Ever. I've done what I came here to do. I wasn't even aware of this ten years ago. I kind of was, but I, I didn't have any particulars whatsoever. I just had this gut feeling about here for a reason. Excuse me, many of you uh, feeling seeing the same thing. That's because you're here to be leaders. I'm not your leader, folks. I'm your janitor. Y'all are the leaders. Y'all are the ones that are going to take this and move forward. But you're going to have a clean building to do your work in. You're going to be released from that butthead boss that's hanging on your head, screaming at you, saying you're, you suck, you're no good, he demands more, or she demands more out of you, whatever. So, 
all that's going to be taken away to give you the freedom to relax. I'm going to do a, uh, a video later trying to help some of y'all relax and flow around. And uh, I'm going to do it in my new multi-million dollar upgraded studio. Uh, I'm going to get a bed sheet and put it over the stuff. So there's nothing for you to really look at or think of, just kind of what's going on. You know, just it, it'll help you relax. There's too much action over here, stuff going on. Little bits and pieces of stuff. Um, it's up there for a reason to say this exists, that exists. It's imagery. But for this, you need to let loose of your focus. So you, you need all that stuff taken away. Uh, taken, you know, out of your eyesight. The mind has to be less consciously busy to take off and go somewhere. Um, soon you will be meeting our family members on this planet. Um, that so many of you, you know they're here, so many of you can feel stuff going on, but you feel the need for them to be hidden. You can feel the nasty arrogance. Um, I told you this was going to happen. I told you you're going to see it, and you are. I'm preparing for a uh, very serious power meeting. Um, and I'm setting things up that need to happen when I'm gone uh, on multiple levels. Um, my uh, the lawyers I work with um, that are uh, kind enough to represent me. Uh, they're very good, very strong. Um, when I'm gone, Paul's going to take care of what I'm doing, um, because there's one thing left that'll need to be done, to be finished, and this is all happening exactly as it needs to. Um, you all know about Berju because she's out here, um, in the open doing stuff now. She's just starting. She's about to get hit with a spotlight, make sure everyone sees her, understands who she is and what she can do. Um, folks, when you can't see something, don't think there's something wrong with you. When you're getting your brain evolved, and it's happening to all of you, when you're having a on, this when the switch is on to evolve you, folks, you can't see diddly squat. And you might see a little bit, depending on the amount of energy. You're going to get hit with energy so hard, you're going to be like, I call it the Homer Simpson uh, um, uh, syndrome, you know, where you you feel like you're hanging over with your head and you're just like, damn, am I drooling? You know, you just feel totally, um, almost completely brain dead. Your brain cells are changing. Your brain is physically evolving when that happens. There's nothing wrong with you. It's You're growing. You're getting stronger because when that goes off, boom. Um, poor Bijou was going through that recently and uh, um, I was talking with her too and it's so funny. It's like a couple of dizzies talking. Um, and... Uh, uh, you know, she can see and feel things for herself, you know, and I, but I, I gave her the reaffirmation that, yeah, I said, it's, it's just part of me in your head, it's okay. And, you know, she, she understands, she knows that. And after that's over, and she gets a break, then all of a sudden she's sharp as hell, you know. And, I, and then I, we, the other day we were talking over here, and I was just, I couldn't hardly even sit up in a chair. I was just floating around, it's like, and I'm like, damn, there's something I need to do, there's something I need to do. And uh, I, I said, I'm not freaked out about it, but it, it's just, I'm pissed, I can't see it. I mean, I just, I said, I'm all over the place. And, you know, she said, yeah, you know, you, we look at each other's heads when that's happening. I said, yeah, it's just floating around. And Paul and I do this too, but Paul's very busy with his life. Um, no, Bergeau is too, but uh, um, Paul's is different, different schedule. So I talk to them at different times. Um, and I, I can't, you know, none of us, Bergeau, Paul or I, can really talk with each other a whole lot. Deanna, I get to talk with her a lot because, you know, we're doing stuff together, uh, getting her set up with her business. Um, so, uh, anyway, and she was saying, Jay, it's like, so, well, I'm seeing something, something about you signing something and um, 
something and she said something else that was relevant to her. I said, Oh yeah, yeah, I said the post office said they dropped something off, a package that came in uh, to me from Alaska. And uh, yeah, she said, Yeah, that's what you're supposed to go get. Well, you know, of course it was brought to me. Um, that was, uh, it was brought to me that day. The thing is, and it was already, before she and I talked, it was set up for it to come here. But, you know, part of our Lily on the other side were working with us to see, after they work on your brain, then literally we go in inside, that, whatever, uh, pardon me, um, go inside you and then make things happen here and there and watch how you react, watch your thought process. And then, like, we, we fix something and then we look at it and then we say, okay, we need to adjust this, adjust this, adjust that. Um, so uh, it's fine tuning. Uh, there's no magic switch. Like, wow, I'm there. Da -da. Yeah, that's like the great, almighty, all forgiving, powerful, loving, perfect, uh, damn you to death and hell God. It's like, how can something be against itself in five different ways? <laughs> It's the opposite of itself in five different areas. That's amazing. Um, just over 91, uh, I'm 98.191, 98, 98, just over 98.1% of Paul's, of Paul's frequencies, who he is, is exactly me inside, the focal point of error. He's strong as hell. He's got strong heart. Very compassionate, loving man, but you know what? The way I handle things, I'm a little more of a softy than he is. And his power level's still increasing. He's still getting stronger. He's more pineal, and uh, Virgil is more... Uh, uh, Virgil is uh, more scanner, sorry. Looking on my head there real quick. Um... And then Anne is going to come into things pretty soon here. Uh, Anne has been gone through, going through hell. Um, even this uh, roommate she's finally getting away from. Wow. That's a nightmare for everybody. Um, but Anne is real. Uh, um, as a matter of fact, uh, her roommate was saying, I'm, I'm NSA, I'm CIA, I'm uh, her handler. Um, all kinds of crazy stuff. She's got issues. Anne's roommate has some serious issues. Uh, and she's been saying a whole lot of stuff that's about to back into her face. Remember what I said about karma, folks? Karma's real. You know why it's real? Because the other side runs lives. So you keep pushing the wrong buttons going to wind up pulling your thumb back and it's going to be missing the end of it. <laughs> Wild. That'll keep you from pushing those buttons. Um, lies, deceit, dishonor, aggressive abuse, peace, period. No. Folks, that stuff's almost completely gone now on the other side. The format just has to be set up. Then it's going to happen here. Um, someone who was very involved in this stuff in the beginning and she did everything she was supposed to do she followed along she's an awesome 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 soul an incredibly strong seer and she sees into the human body really really well plus um, she's she's she either is you know she either has a nursing degree or should or you know um, should have been given it by now um, uh, her name's Cat Hooper Catherine Hooper, and she's going to be coming out in the open again. It's time for her to be thanked for everything that she's gone. She went through hell. She's, she's still in hell, but she's coming out. I've mentioned her to a few of you, but uh, there's things happening in our lives that we didn't create that were done to us, including the bodies we were put in with a different DNA. Folks, all this stuff's going to be taken out of your lives. When you go to have another life, you're going to have a body that actually works with you, not works against you. You're going to have things that happen. There has to be strife, because strife does build the uh, uh, the power level, the uh, uh, development of your spirit and your body. Strife is one thing. Abuse is a excuse me. It's a totally different uh, uh, item. Uh, 
uh, that'll just show itself to be what it is later. So many people have always said, well, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, if you think it was a good reason for you, uh, only from time to time. Those of you that are here to lead forward, to help people become themselves, and that's all it is. It's not a war, it's an awakening. That's a totally different thing. There's some strong people here on the planet that can see and feel stuff and they love it. They, they get that feeling, they see and there's stuff going on. They can make contact, but they can't see beyond the veil. There's a, a place, there's a, a hard cover with that they, they cannot see through. That's done to them on purpose. That's about to be gone. It's time for everyone to be who they are, equal. It's time for everyone to be protected from crap attacking them. It's time for everyone to be given bodies to have lives in that flow with their frequencies. If you're an explorer, then you should be exploring. Uh, you, your DNA and everything should be representative so you can see, so you know, you can, so you can, uh, uh, something exemplary of uh, um, the, the field, you know, your, of your frequency, something that flows with who you are. Um, that's enough of this crazy stuff going on everywhere. Oh. That's the way lives were set up on purpose. I'm trying to move this mic where it's not picking up all that uh, noise from the room AC unit. So I have a, a nice piece of lapis over here. <laughs> Imagine that, Jay's using stones to hold up stuff in his uh, multi-million dollar uh, uh, studio. Yeah, we'll just put it back here. Okay, you sound level's still fine. Um... Folks, you don't need anything fancy. You don't need a new special phone that's only been out three weeks. You don't need anything to become awake. You need a phone, get a nice one. Be nice to yourself. Take care of yourself. That's not a bad thing. You have people running around, oh no, you can have no worldly goods. Screw you. <coughs> Coffee's bad for you. Well then don't drink it. I'm good with it, you know? People trying to tell people what to do say, well, I know better than to do this, and you should, too. Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, is, uh, when you see that, feel sorry for the people and just let it go. Just walk away. You know, leave them you love and go. This is serious stuff, folks. Okay, this is not sit at home and, la, 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 you know, just, la, everything's wonderful. I feel the love. Folks, get involved. Get real. Spending time to relax and actually go forward. This doesn't happen on its own. It is moving and changing to help you, but you have to become a part of it. If you're a log in the water, in the surf, in the ocean, the wave comes and it just goes over you, and you bobble around a little bit. If you're a surfboard and the wave comes, you can ride it, you can have some fun, you can move with it, you can utilize it to have fun, to do what you want to do. Folks, you all are here because you want to help. Okay? Um, there was a lot of anticipation before you went in the body related to now, 2012. You'll find out when you get out of your body. It's turned out a whole lot better than you thought. It was time for creation and change. Folks, a hundred years from now, people won't, on this planet especially, people won't hardly even, when you talk to them what it's like today, they're going to be like, yeah, they, they don't know what they're talking about. It wasn't that bad. 
so. Remember, all the things that have been done to you physically were orchestrated and controlled on the other side, the original male, female, first being. Well, after all that stuff got taken away, now you have a bunch of ninnies running around, screwing with you. The Anunnaki are an awesome race. The ones that are controlling this planet are scum. The, uh, there's a few nice people there, don't, don't get me wrong, but as a, as a group, they're scum. They're like pirates is the way I think of it. They go to different uh, planets and steal what they want. Of course, they can't do that now. The Drak. Oh, the Drak and these horrible, you know, they're the most, them and, uh, the Drak and the Antids are the oldest and most uh, uh, beneficial species on the planet. I mean, uh, beneficial is really not the word I'm looking for. Um, it's like the word benefactory or something. Um, they do so much to help us. They leave us with so much. They have, they kind of stick to themselves for the most part, they're not active trying to throw their stuff everywhere, but they are busy everywhere. Um, when they go to a planet to help it, when they leave, that planet is healthier. The planet itself is healthier. The people have more wisdom. The physical bodies on that planet are healthier. Um, they have a greater understanding of what is, and they have a little bit of security. That they're part of a group that has no name is part of the group that is shown compassion by the uh, the Drak and the Antids. And they'll include anyone in that group that's not hurting anyone else. That's why they finally put that quarantine on this solar system from just outside Mars. You can't get in here. Outside Jupiter, you run into problems. Um, and will come into play later. She's uh, getting away from a nightmare nightmares um, she's been abused I dwell on that I'm going to crank up some anger some tears um, there's going to be some change that happens less than three months from now there's going to be some very serious change on the other side Everything is going to come to a stop. There'll be an explosion of energy. Everything will come to a stop. And then the format will be initiated. The new format. Compassion, honor, and equality. Then things are going to start changing here. The things that have been running this planet the nasty things in your governments, you're going to be crushed. You'll find out later. All that matters is that the mess get, gets cleaned up, that the mess be cleaned. There's certain uh, um, minerals and stuff on this planet that other planets really need. Uh, that's going to be a bargaining tool that uh, the U.S. Good boy, Herky. Okay, buddy? Herky. Good boy, honey. Uh, that's going to be a bargaining tool that the Earth is going to have, but guess who's going to have control of that? Guess who's going to say yes or no? Gaia. That's right. A planet's energy, spirit, Gaia, is going to have the single deciding vote, the control over whether or not anything, any of her uh, material goes somewhere else. You'll have people that talk with her, but literally this earth will shake if anything goes the wrong way. I mean, shake hard. It's time for the abuse of everything to come to an end. Y'all are in the most auspicious um, time in creation, whatever. Um, I'm not going to bother Googling it. Um, 
there's a lot that's happening. Uh, hey, Herc. I love you, buddy. I'm going to be done in a minute, okay? Okay, buddy. I love you, honey. You're my man, Herc. Yes, you are. Um, there's going to be a lot of things happening that are going to make you nervous. There's going to be some destruction. A uh, guy is going to kick it up a little bit. Uh, Arrow's going to be kicking stuff up here big time. Um, out in space, there's all kinds of stuff going on already. Remember, we're just one planet. We've got a lot of nightmares here, but we're just part of the horn's nest. Pretty much near the middle of it. <laughs> Actually, we are the hub of the horn's nest. Um, things are going to be brought to happen. Uh, there's so many people out there that want the chaos and everything else and control and they won't give it up. Um, those people are going to physically, their bodies physically going to die. They'll be taken out and dealt with as who they really are. Spirits, engine energy, no body. Uh, some of the minds will be controlled to do what needs to be done, make certain decisions. Some of them are going to go at each, other, at each other's throats make a fine display of it for people to see. The third dimension. Here we go again. I, I, keep, I keep getting hammered. <laughs> um, a piece of uh, uh, paper just popped off, uh, like a baggie that I put over the camera, just popped off the, uh, um, the desk over there. A container I have has some stuff in it just got pushed off. Um, there's gonna I'm being asked to just let it go for right now there's folks there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen you'll see it'll be done the way it needs to um, people aren't gonna be running around with controls in their brains are gonna have less than ever but you know what those things that are a problem the problems gonna be handled that's what I'm trying to tell you okay it's like how do we stop this how do we stop how do you stop a government easy it, you can't do it but easy okay so it's gonna be done um, the main thing is is that you all start getting, I love you buddy, I'm coming, is that you all start getting uh, more engaged in becoming yourself. There's never been a better time in creation. It's going to get a little rocky, but it's okay. It's going to be good. Can you imagine what it would be like just looking outside and seeing seven or eight huge different ships come in different looking beings, uh, sometimes in insectoid, reptilian, uh, different types of human, uh, six legs, eight legs, uh, two legs. Um, that's coming. And then I told you about the Fae, that one video that I have with a very, you know, it was, it was a male and female that came over here, females in front. But where they came, went through over here, folks. That's I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bright lights. I might have had five back then. I don't know. Um, it took two of them that were really strong to put out that much energy to where you could see them. When it went against the white, you couldn't see it anymore unless you really had something to look well. You could barely see it anyway. But if it was nighttime, that would have been an incredible light show. Um, they're real. They're here. You've had lives in those bodies, in those energy bodies. So, the uh, there's less faith than there is a human uh, type spirit, and uh, uh, the, there's less stress that happens in the fey bodies. So, sometimes when you need a break, they put you in a fey body, a spirit body, uh, even if you're like human spirit, or whatever. Um, so it helps you relax, but it's very disorienting and not normal. So because of that, you still got more stress. You're going to have everything you need. You don't ever plan on having everything you want because it'll be made sure you don't have it. That's not what you're in the body for. Something's picking on me. I should have what I want. How do you get that thought process? Arrogance, greed, selfishness. I know a few people, one in particular, that literally thinks if somebody has something, she should have it too. And she declares that right. You have something I want, it. that belongs to me. 
Wow. She's about to catch a big boulder. I don't think she's going to hold it up. Folks, uh, I want to th just take the time now. I want to thank you for all the uh, consults that we've had. Uh, I really do care about you, um, and it means a lot to me when I get a moment to talk with you. It would be nice if uh, if money wasn't necessary, but things are what they are. We deal with what we have, and we come out on top. You do now. Just give it a little time. Um, creation has someone new has new caretakers instead of the abusive tyrants. So, y'all are not children. You don't need someone holding your hand or pushing you around or putting you in a box and say that's how you have to act. As long as there's no abuse and compassion and honor are out there, that's all that matters. How else can you be free to be yourself? How else can anything be right? can't. You have to be left alone to grow. You have to be allowed to be yourselves. That's what's coming. That's what you're all about to have. It's only months away. Isn't it time? Oh, um, when you do meet Anne, uh, she's going to blow your mind. Um, we all have to get through the abuse that we have put through in our lives. We all have to grow up and wake up. Everyone's doing it at different times. Uh, there's a reason for that. And it wasn't because there was someone controlling everyone that was doing everything for them. Okay? That's why I love the laugh at the law of attraction. It's a senseless circle where everyone starts going in a circle running faster and faster. Oh, I can almost see it. I can almost see it. I must have everything. My yacht, my Mercedes. Whatever. Um, it's your time, folks. It's coming. There's some serious power players here. But the main thing is the other side is going to be something that's never been before. It's going to be about you and for you. I had a life here on this planet in America where we the people meant a lot. That's one of my lives I have a hard time connecting with. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's easy. That's the problem. It's so easy. I remember so much of it. Everyone dying, young kids getting their feet cut off from frostbite. Senate. Um, anyway, uh, things are about to be about we the beings. We the members of creation. That finally are free from the hostilities put upon us. And now we can grow into who we really are not what someone else wants us to be. The original male and female first being never had one life, didn't plan on it. They just wanted to abuse everything to get praised to be happy. All that's gone. It's time for y'all to be able to relax. Folks, I love you, man. Take care.